Woodfield Manor, a historical lodge set in the woodlands in the Pocono Mountains, is a Sundance Vacations property. Dating back to the year 1808, the manor is ideal for a romantic getaway or family destination with its rich wooden suites and cottages. But its history also holds stories of ghostly accounts in its infamous room number 13. Some employees recount the activity they've experienced at the manor. And in the ice room, there's a table right next to the ice machine. Uh, I set the ice bucket down to get the ice out. And as I was getting the ice, that lid literally flew off the table, traveled about three feet, hit a core behind it. I had no place to go. I was in that little room, and I had the strangest feeling I wanted to be out of that room. As the former general manager at the manor, Keith tells Sundance Vacations he's seen a woman before. Particularly, he has witnessed her in the reception hall. I did happen to see from a previous owner photographs of her family that living in the area in that particular building. And as I saw that picture, I got goosebumps because that was the woman I saw in the doorway of the reception area that morning. But it appears that the woman wanders. According to current employee Joanne, she knows of many workers that have had something unusual happen to them while in room 13. I guess the lady that lived here a long time ago, I heard that she had two children and she actually drowned them in the tub. But people do say they hear running water in the room at night. I was in the uh, bedroom making up the bed and all of a sudden the lights started flickering on and off. And I looked down and you know the shopping bags that you get from the stores? It looked like somebody was dragging it across the floor. And it did freak me out and I went running down the steps into the office. But before you cross Woodfield Manor off your destinations list, be sure to note that others believe the woman is merely playful, dare they say, even helpful. The current manager has witnessed a different side of the spirit. Well, Teresa told me that one time she was in 13, gonna put up like curtains for the room, but she didn't have any. And for some reason, she said she went down to room 27 and there was like curtains laying out on the bed for her. And I guess she talked to the person, whoever she thought it was, and said, you know, thank you. And so many experiences, they actually asked a medium to come in to go through the place, and the medium gave the instructions, of, well, I will walk through with you, don't tell me anything in advance, I don't want to hear anything, or be in any way influenced. She said, but she walked through the, the manor, came to a certain area, and she said, there's a woman who's still here who passed away in this room. Uh, benevolent, there's nothing malicious, there's nothing to worry about, but this woman is still here. Uh, it was, in those days, room three. Uh, right now, as luck would have it, that is our room number 13. So it looks like the spirit just likes to play. However, you'll never know unless you pay Woodfield Manor a visit yourself. Why would someone linger? Why would a part of someone's spirit stay? Uh, maybe it's just too nice a place to leave, I don't know.